We're online. We are online, and you are not working. What? Oh, shit, I made the wrong terminal. Damn it! Hey guys, welcome back to episode 18 of my AVP Let's Play series. Uh, today... I said I was gonna do a certain thing. I did, didn't I? Yes. Um, but I've changed my mind. Because I don't actually have enough power to do that sort of thing. So, the thing I was gonna do requires a lot of resources. Like, I will be creating mobs from thin air and giving them brains and all that. Um, I'm not going to tell you which mob it is at the moment. By the way, I changed the farm. I was getting sick of the looks, so... Now it looks weird. <laughs> I was just getting sick of the way it looked, so... Change that. Yep. Yeah. So, as I was saying, uh, I need a lot of power. I'm also getting sick to death of this entire setup with the chests. And having to go through each one just to find particular things. Um, so, what I'm doing right now is I'm actually crafting... A few things that actually got blown up in the attack that I already had set up. Um, they were I, they were set up before the attack, but I noticed that they were all just gone because <laughs> after the attack. So well, basically, what I'm doing is I'm crafting a vibration chamber that's going to give me some energy. Um, this thing is a charger, which will charge my certus quartz into a higher into a charge certus quartz. Basically, this entire setup is used for applied energist energistics too. So this episode, I wanted to get into applied energistics too. This is the only power gen I have at the moment to power my system, but I have been talking with the predator, and um, surprisingly, I didn't think it would happen, but he's been talking a bit. Um, and they say they have this sort of infinite energy source. Um, I'm sort of like asking, like, how do you make it? And he's like, it's classified, and only they, they are, they're allowed to do it. Um, but please keep in mind, he started talking, like, cooperational after a very long time. <laughs> like, he was telling me to... I can't really exactly say, because um, I think there's a, there's a few children watching this. <laughs> He was saying some nasty things to me, so, but, yeah, eventually, he came around, and, um, he's been telling me some stuff about his technology and all that, and his brethren and all that, so, um, sorry about the lag, it's, again, hot in Australia, so hot, so, yes, okay, so, yes, I'm gonna do be, be doing Applied Energy 6 too. I just wanna get the thing set up today, and then hopefully I can create this, an infinite energy, energy, re, uh, energy generator, whatever, whichever thing the predator's talking about. I have no idea, but we'll find out. So, I just want to get the main setup here. So, a few episodes back, I grew some um, flukes crystals, and I then turned them into dust and made them grow again or whatever. Um, yes, as I said, most of my stuff got blown up in the attack, so I'm going to have to recraft a lot of this stuff. So, just going to be doing that. Um, I think I might need some charged quartz, so I'll just quickly show you the way you can do this. Can't, can't remember exactly if you need to run an, an energy acceptor over here or it just works like this but this should be getting energy or not I assume not I think it needs energy pumped in from the bottom or the top well I need oh that there we go cool basically that charges up a certus quartz crystal Basically, all this stuff is just crafting ingredients that you need, so... Eventually, that'll change into a charged Certus Quartz Crystal. Sweet, there we go. Charged Certus Quartz. Nice. So, that's just the crafting ingredient. Alright, so I'm gonna actually do a whole bunch of stuff. and see how it all goes. So, yes. Bunch of crafting, off camera. I'll be back. So, popping back for half a second to show you the crafting finishing up for in the inscriber, which is just something, another, you know, thingy to do uh, that makes things. <laughs> okay, so I uh, actually reset this thing up. Um, I've got the energy coming in through the top, so so I don't have to sit here like with quarter surface quartz going click, click every time it's finished. I just got hoppers automating it, so once they're finished, they go like through basically their pipes. So that's cool. Alright, so I've got the inscriber, I've got that thing, that thing, that thing. Um, I'm going to need a, possibly, 
to start this entire thing off. Drive. That'll do. Okay, cool. So, we need that stuff, which is just quartz dust, glass. I can get quartz dust by grinding it in that thing. Um, then we also need the engineering presses, which is just an inscriber mixed with... Oh, okay, cool. So those things we got from the meteorite um, ages ago. These things. You can put them in inscribers, and um, they make different things. <laughs> the, uh, the, the Planet Logistics 2 is, like, quite complicated. So I'm just going to explain it by putting in the word things and crafting. So I'm going to craft some things, and then once those things are done, I'll have an amazing thing that will store all my things. So I'll be back. Okay, so now I have an inscriber here. I got two diamonds. I put in the inscriber engineering press. If I do this, and then if I can just quickly check, and that should be it. Inscriber engineering press. It probably needs power. Of course it does. Okay, this should work. Uh, I'm not sure if it will, but yeah, it's been actually quite a while since I've played around with this. Okay, yep, it does need power. Cool. So, it should be doing compressy stuff. You gonna work? You cool. Nice. There we go. Then I just need those things, and then I mix them things for the drive. Basically, the drive is the storage area. Um, yeah, so, printed silicon. So, I just need to smelt up some nether quartz. Man. I remember doing this in um, fully mod modded packs with all the, like, the pulverizers and the furnaces that make it all automated, and it's so much easier than doing it right now. Because <laughs> I'm restricted on how many mods I can put in this. Because if I put in too many mods, I'll start lagging too much. But if I put in too little mods, I'll start having no no fun. So, yes, i got to find, like, a sweet area with the mods. So, alright. <laughs> I'll be back again. Okay, guys, we're nearly done. <laughs> Just with the storage area, uh, whatever uh, you want to call it. The, the drive thingy. So, yes, we're nearly done with the drive. Can we craft you now? Yay! We have a drive. Cool. Alright, um, I guess the drive can go there for now. Now we need a disk drive. <laughs> Um, I also want to put one of them guys there. Uh, actually, do I really want it here? I probably... You know what? Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have it here. Why not? Um, instead, though, I'll put the drive in the back here. Cool. That looks nice. And then... Over here... I can have a terminal. The terminal is just the interface which allows you to access it. I'm also going to need power for it. So I'm probably going to... I won't worry about the power yet though. I'm going to need another vibration chamber. Um, and, and, and an energy acceptor as well. So I need the vibration chamber and then an energy acceptor which allows the thing to accept energy from the vibration chamber. Whew, there's a lot of information to take in here. But um, yes, I need to craft the drive now. So I already had drive searched up. Um, Let's go for the cheapest drive we can. 1k drive. Cool. So we just need some quartz glass. One of them. One of them. Okie dokie. <laughs> Be right back. Yeah, yeah, I have the drive set up. So I can insert them in there. Now all I need is power and something to access the drives. Oh my god, dudes. We're nearly done. Oh my god. It's just this one last crafting recipe and then we're done. Oh my god, we're done. Okay. Then chuck you on there, and all we need is power. So, get some coal. I wonder if coal blocks will burn. Cool, they do. Nice. We're online. We are online, and you are not working. What? Oh, shit, I made the wrong terminal. Damn it! Okay, we can, we can solve this very quickly on camera. It's actually very simple. Um... Yes. <laughs> I made the wrong terminal. That terminal is used for something else. I just remembered, remembered now. So, we just need the normal terminal. Um, I can make a crafting terminal, which you'll see eventually, but I'll do that off camera probably. Uh, we need the just the normal terminal. So, I think I still have all the necessary materials to do that. Cool. Alright. Um, you get off. Please. Thank you. And then... We will... What is going on? I'm so confused. Interface terminal, we have that terminal, no, no, oh god, okay, we finally done, are we done, 
We are done. Oh, yeah. Oh, finally. Let's stop. Let me take you out of there. Why? Why can I not? Oh, okay, cool. Nice. We're done, dudes. We are officially... Officially... Have an A system now. Oh, my God. Can't tell you how excited I am. Oh, goodness. It's been so long, baby. It's been so long. Alright, so I'm going to want some external coal outside just in case I do run, about, run out of energy to access the stuff. Um, I have a feeling it's going to eat up a lot of energy. But just for now, um, I'm going to have to use coal just to run it. Um, I'm hoping that the ferret behind me stops sneezing. We done? Okay, cool. Wait. <laughs> okay, I think the ferret shut up. Okay, cool. So, what was I saying? I forgot. Damn you, Leroy. His name's Leroy Jenkins, by the way. Okay, so. Cool. Yeah, as I was saying, yes. Um, it'll be fine once we find out how to get an infinite en energy resource or whatever off the Predator. Um, but for now, we're just going to have to use the coal. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, I should be able to store quite a lot of stuff in here. So if I were to go, for instance, chuck my axe in there and the shovel, chuck all that in there, and do this. Bam. 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 And bam. 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 Oh, damn it. We ran out of space. Okay. So, I'm just going to need a few more 1K storage drives. That's nice. I like it. I'm liking this a lot. Look at all the space we're saving. Yay. And then I'll just uh, chuck a Tyrion block back there. Uh, Tyrion. Oh, yeah. This is what I've always wanted. Cool. Alright. So, yeah. That's about it. That's a Planet Logistics 2. Uh, it's... I'm not good at explaining it, but... um. It's a very powerful storage mod, if you can get it running. So, for instance, all my chests now are in these two drives inside this one block. And I can have many more drives to fit more stuff. So, yes. Let's apply an logistics too. That's me fixing up my storage stuff. Now I'm ready to learn how to make a... Or steal a infinite energy resource thingy. Or whatever but we'll see how that goes um all i'm saying is i'm ready now i've got it all set up ready so this will be a lot easier for crafting things awesome all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode if you didn't uh oh well <laughs> it had to happen i had to do an episode where we did apply energy energistics 2 and I actually got it up and running because um it's actually it's been very irritating using chests all the time so this was a necessary episode hope you guys enjoyed adios